Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I make these little present shakers. Um, I think they're so pretty guys. You guys will see at the end of this video, like they are gorgeous. Um, so I am just using one die from the KS Craft Lover Store um, off of AliExpress. I will have it linked down below. And it just comes with these two pieces. So let me show you guys what I had cut out. So when you guys go to do this, you know what you need to cut out. So your background piece, um, a background like kind of thicker piece um, that's gonna go behind here just to keep it more sturdy. And acetate is all going to be cut out with this one die. And then your foam and your top layering piece that's gonna look like this is all going to get cut out with this other die. You only need two dies for this. It's so easy, guys. Um, so that's all you need. And then obviously you're going to need some glue, some shakers, um, some shaker bits and stuff. So yeah, but that's pretty much it. It's super straightforward. Um, and I just cut everything out. I will have the foam I linked down below. And all you wanna do with the foam when you put it through your die, um, like die cutting machine, I use a Sizzix. You just wanna run it through one time, not front and back, not like that just one time through and then take it out and that's it. Um, that way your foam is going to stay like nice and like thicker, perfect size for shakers. Now I like to do my videos a little different each time. So when I've made shakers, you guys have seen, I've used foam tape to bo like border the outside um, to make shakers. You guys have seen, I have used um, like adhesive, double-sided adhesive tape on the backing of these things, which also works great. But I also wanted to show you guys that you guys can just use regular glue to do these. It just sometimes gets a little messy, but you can do it. So I'm going to be using some art glitter glue today. Um, and yeah, let's just start building our shakers together. So the first thing I'm going to do is just layer all of my um, pieces here onto the thicker background um, cardstock. So that will give me like the base layer of my foam. Or not my foam, but you know. Oh, this actually kind of looks cute this way too, but now nah, I'm gonna use the striped, the striped side because I think, I don't know, I'm trying to make like some wintry ones. I'm doing some of these for a swap um, and I had some like pieces cut out already that I had previously cut out, which is why you'll see some Christmassy ones too. But the one of the people in um, that I'm swapping with just likes the color purple. So I tried to include some purple in this project um, because she loves purple. Um, so yeah, that's why mine are like this, but yeah, you could do any colors. I think the hardest part of these projects is figuring out what you want for your background piece and then what you want for your layering piece. I like to do glitter for my layering pieces for some reason, um, but that's just me. And I made these um, for one swap already for this one person and she was like obsessed with how they turned out. She was like, oh my goodness, like how did you make those? And asked a million questions and now we'll have a video for the next time that somebody asks me when I when they get these in like a swap or something they're so fun to make and honestly they just turn out so gorgeous so I hope you guys um, give this dye a shot and I recommend um, getting it like you know the sooner the better while they still have it in stock because who knows if they'll have this next year, even though it's not gonna come in probably in time for you to even use it on Christmas crafting this year. Um, it's a die that is totally worth it to have in your stash. So I highly recommend it guys. Okay, so I have all of these pieces attached. So now they're like super nice and sturdy. You guys hear that? They're like perfect. So I used 110 pound cardstock on the backing. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just, I'm gonna glue the acetate to the back of these pieces. Okay, so they're just gonna go like that. So the back of the top layering pieces, I'm just gonna glue the acetate. You wanna put some glue all around this box, but don't go too crazy. 
it is glue and you don't want it to slip and slide so you got to be very careful when you attach this actually what i think i'm going to do here is use my finger to spread it out all over the place okay then take your acetate and just gently get it into the spot you want it in and layer it on top okay so i'm going to do the same thing with all of my top layer pieces to have that acetate um, background all right guys so the hardest part is done just kidding because that's not the hardest part sticking the acetate onto the thing although it's tricky that is not the hardest part the hardest part is now with the foam this is the hardest part because you need to make sure you get all of the edges when you stick this onto um, your project so what i'm going to do is stick these on to here now to the background of the base you want to make sure that your top pieces all line up make sure this is like facing the right way so you guys see here this is not the right way of my foam it needs to go this way so just make sure you do that before you start sticking um, things onto your project like just double check I think everything else is facing the right way now yeah these are all good okay so you just want to stick these on and then we'll start doing the shaker part of this um, but yeah like I said this is now the hardest part because you got to make sure to get everything real good and I'm almost like kind of feeling like maybe I should try adhesive glue like the spray glue um, I'm a little scared to try that though because I don't know how that's going to work but a little hesitant so or just kind of kind of go with this still so you just want to put down some glue actually this is not even the hardest part yet either the hardest part is when you're actually um, sticking the acetate back down onto this after you put the sequins in so you just want to make sure you get glue everywhere this part is a little bit forgiving because my glue does dry clear you do want to make sure your glue is dried before you put in any sequins otherwise your sequins are going to stick to um, the glue and they're not going to shake around okay so you just want to make sure everything is on there real good i don't know if you guys could tell but i have glue all over the place but like i said this part is still quite forgiving i don't know what i'm doing with my glue but why is it coming out of my sides I don't know why that's happening and you're just framing your box here you guys see I'm not going up all the way to the bow just framing the box okay just literally make sure you have glue everywhere and then line it up the bottom of your square and then just start pressing down very lightly though because it's still you know moving around a little bit right now but you need it to press down to adhere all right guys now that i officially got glue everywhere including in my hair which i don't even know how i did that one but i somehow just did because i just found glue in my hair um i think the easiest way to do shakers to be honest is with the adhesive tape so from now on i'll be doing it that way forget showing you guys different ways I did it I showed you guys and the easiest way is to use the double-sided adhesive tape because this way um, not only is it time-consuming but extremely messy my fingers are covered in glue my hair had glue um, so it's extremely messy and you also have um, drying time that you have to account for and wait for um, the other thing you guys could do on the back is layer um another piece on here that's like a thicker thing because this is going to be foam so i might actually end up doing that i think i might have done that on my the first time i made this um just to make it a little thicker but let me see which ones are dry so i could start crafting with those at least okay none of them are like dry i still got glue all over the place i know my glue dries clear so um 
yeah, I'll have to come back to this. All right guys, so I'm gonna let this dry and I will be back to show you guys um, the next part of my shaker. All right guys, so I'm back. I just went and showered while waiting for these to dry. Now I'm ready to add in um, some of my um, shaker bits. So I have like this fake snow here, which I think is gonna go super, oh no, wait, I cannot do this yet. What am I doing, guys? Oh my God, first of all, that is super staticky and that wants to stick to everything. But first you gotta put your little chalk thing on here. All right, this is called, I think like the embossing buddy or something, I'll have it linked down below. But if you guys could see, it's just like baby powder inside of here. You definitely want to use this because it'll help prevent your um, sequins from sticking, not only to the glue. So this helps like um, destigmatize the glue, but also so your um, so your sequins don't like stick to like the acetate or to the glue or anything. So just trying to get into all of these edges. I want to get it real good and it smells like baby powder. I think you could just refill this with baby powder to be honest. I haven't had to refill it yet, um, but it honestly just smells like baby powder. I'm going to do the same thing here and just quickly brush over um, the acetate. That way nothing will stick to these things or it like helps minimize the stick at least. Now that we got that done, now I'm ready to put in my fake snow. So fake snow, um, you know, let me get a spoon for this because this looks pretty messy. Um, but fake snow, I got this from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to add in some fake snow into these guys that I think look fairly wintry. Guys, sometimes it's like I'm filming and I'm like, oh, this is like, you know, turning out perfect. And then sometimes I'm filming and I'm like, oh my goodness, like, why do I keep messing up? Today's just one of those messing up days, it seems like. It's just a little bit of fake snow. I feel like I wanted to add some in here also. I think that will look pretty. Why do I keep getting this on the foam? Is it just like adhering to the foam or something? Oh, it is. So there's um, my fake snow. Now I'm just gonna get some sequins because this is gonna be great. I have this Christmassy sequin mix that I just really, oh wait, this one's different than the one I was using before. But I think this one will work in here. All right, this one's already done for me with the sequin mix. So I'm just gonna, wait, there's some stars in here. Let's get the stars in those big sections. Oh, there's little Christmas trees in here too. You wanna put some sequins in the top bit. Wow, my sequins are like extra staticky today. I am almost tempted to put um, some of that powder in here. They're literally like sticking to my finger in everything. See, look at this. Sequins galore. Oh, I am not enjoying this today. Nope. All right, let's close up that sequin bit because that's not working for me. Then I got these little um, gemmy kind of crystally things from Alina Craft. So these guys I want to put into the ones that kind of look like fake snow. Hopefully these, oh these are nice and like heavier. Oh my god they look so pretty. It really does look like fake snow now. And little crystals and jemmies. They're gonna make a lot of fun shaker noise. Okay, those look so fun. Now I'm gonna go through my stash of sequins and kind of just like pick out ones that I think might match these other ones. So I think this one is gonna, wait, what color is going on top? I think I was gonna do gold on top of this one, but I'm almost thinking maybe red now. I kind of like the red. Okay, so that one will be red. I think this one will be gold. So let's add in some red sequins in here because there's not a lot of like red going on and we need this to be Christmassy. So we're just gonna throw in some sequins. At least these aren't like staticky like the other ones. I don't know why the other ones were like so staticky. Okay, and then I think I also wanna add in some gold. I'm trying to see which gold, that gold matches well. 
So we got some gold. I'm almost wondering if that filler will look nice in here. Just needs a little something more. I'm also going to add in some snowflakes. I have some snowflake sequins that I got from Alina Craft also. And I think these are just going to fit nicely in here. You know what I'm realizing? Anything that's like in a baggie is so staticky. Can I just like add some powder in here? Call it a day. Stop being staticky. Maybe that will help. Maybe it won't, but it's worth a shot, right? Nope. Did not help. But I tried. These are some thick... um little snowflakes. I don't want to put any into um, the top pieces only because I don't know how they're gonna, like I don't think they're gonna move around if they're on the top. So we're not gonna throw any on there. Snowflakes are done. After this video you guys are gonna like hate making shakers but I promise they're actually so much fun on good days when they're actually cooperating with you. Then they're like a lot of fun to make. When they are not cooperating, well, that's a different story. Like my struggles today, but most of the time, I promise you guys, they are not sticking to my fingers like they are in today's project. Um, I'm also feeling like I should add in some here because it's just looking pretty. Okay, so lots of sequins. It's nice because I'm using up some of my sequin mixes and stuff. Okay, so I gotta start gluing on the top just put some glue on the same spots that we had glue before when we were gluing our project together. Normally I would say smudge this out with your finger also, but I went to town on these sequins and I'm afraid if I start smudging my sequins are gonna like attach to it. Um, oh, and this one actually you could also put glue on the tops here because the top layering piece is going to cover everything. So let's go to town. Okay, so I'm going to glue this on carefully. Do not shake your shaker yet. It's tempting, I know, but don't do it. That's when your sequins are literally going to stick to the edges. And yes, I put in way too much glue, but I'm hoping that this dries nicely for me. I'm just not gonna shake these until tomorrow and hope that all of that glue right there just dries. I'm gonna speed up this process, guys. That's all you're doing. You're carefully, to the best of your ability, gluing the top layers on. Just make sure you get glue on all of these now. So I have one hot gluey mess, um, well not actually like hot temperature hot, but I literally have glue everywhere, my glue is leaking, my, um, my shakers are leaking, I put on way too much glue this time, but I'm like trying to squeeze out glue because I knew it was coming out the other side and I literally have glue all over my fingers. Um, hot mess but I promise you guys shakers are normally not this hard I do recommend using double sided adhesive um, but I do also um, make shakers this way sometimes normally if I'm only making one not when I'm making a whole bunch so if you're making a whole bunch I recommend recommend using adhesive but I will show you guys what these shake and look like um, when they are dry, I will come back tomorrow and show you guys and we will finish um, this up because I added, wanted to add like a bow and stuff to it as well. So I will come back tomorrow and finish it up for you guys. Okay guys, I am back. These had some drying time and they're perfect. Look at these awesome shakers guys. Now that we didn't touch them, they, you know, they shake freely. They're so great. I mean the, um, 
The ones that are a little rough are like the snowflakes with the little circles. Not all of them want to move, but once you like move it around a little bit and see like now I moved around um, the little circles. So the little circles are a little thick, um, but it's fine. They just get stuck sometimes, but then once you move it or, like around a little bit, they'll move around again. Um, so it's fine. I did decide to cut out the back pieces because I don't know if you guys could see here, but it is a little flimsy, not like this, that's sturdy. So I wanted to put on like a back piece on there. So I cut out a whole bunch of um, back pieces and I wanted to glue them on. Obviously it has to go this way, kind of like the back of the thing, but then it'll be a little bit more sturdy. So we are going to glue those on. Uh, th I guess that'll be like the last thing that I do. I do want to show you guys, um, but I did want to show you guys that I am going to put that on so that it's less flimsy. Um, the last thing I'm going to do to show you guys is actually make a bow. So I'm just going to cut a piece of tulle. I don't know, I guess like this thick. I don't know. I could always change it later. So I'm just cutting a piece of tulle and then another piece of tulle on top of that. So I'm just going to layer the two together and I'm just going to cut out another piece. It doesn't have to be exact, but I'm going to make a bow. So, all right, I got two pieces of tulle right here. Um, what I'm going to do now is kind of just, um, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, I am going to, um, I guess, uh, like accordion fold this. If you guys could kind of tell what I'm doing. Okay, so something like that and it just looks like a cute little bow. Okay, then I'm going to cut off another piece, which I should have done that before, but like a thinner piece. And tool is good because it like stretches. If you guys could see, like I could just pull it and it stretches like it's great. Okay, so then I'm going to take this and I'm going to wrap it around. Hold on, I'm trying to organize my bow a little better. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it around um, of what I think is the middle. Okay, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but it's totally doable. Okay, so I got this and wrap it around. Okay, so I got my little knot and now I'm just going to pull it. Before I tie it too tight, I'm going to move it to where I want it to go. And that looks like a pretty good bow to me. You can still move it around a little bit before you completely tie it. So I'm going to completely pull this real good. And then I'm going to do another knot on top of that. I like to do two layers because it makes like a thicker bow. And I just think it's cute. You know what? Let's do a third knot. All right. So I'm going to cut this now. So I got this cute little bow and he's just going to live right here. And he's so cute. Look at him. This adorable little bow. So I'm actually just going to glue him on here. And on top of that, we're just going to put down a little jemmy. But I have this whole pack of jemmies from Hobby Lobby. Maybe we should do the gold bow here. Maybe we'll do a silver one on the rest of these. Because there is kind of like little silver flakes in here. And although there is in here as well, I feel like here either the red or the green will go. And I think I like the red. Um, so I think I'll just do that. Um, I have my hot glue right here. Oh, hold on. Hot glue leaking. Okay, so I got my hot glue. I'm just going to put a dab on the back of here. And then I'm going to glue this down right in the middle here. And then I'm just going to take um, another dab. And here you could shape this a little bit more. So if you want it like ladder you could like hold it down there while you press down your jemmy in the middle because it'll kind of like hold it in place see just like that and there's my little um, present shaker isn't it so adorable 
Okay, so I'm gonna go do the rest of these and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am now finished um, with all my present shakers. I wanna show you guys what they look like. So it depends on how long you cut your tool um, to see how long your bow is gonna be. So I'll show you guys like two, um, two different kind of like styles, I guess. Okay, so this pink one has a longer piece of tool that I had cut. You guys could see it kind of flares out a little bit more and a little bit past the present box. And then there's this other one that is a little shorter and it like just meets like the edges of the present box. They're both really cute though. Um, I like them a lot, both of them. They're so fun. Oh my gosh, I love these little present boxes. Here's the gold one we did together before. This one had also a longer piece of tool. And then here's the other three that we had also done um, or that I did. So this one is a little shorter, um, this one's a little shorter, and then this one's a little bit longer but not too much longer. And it just really depends on what look you're going for um, and how long you cut your tool. Like to me, I don't really, like I like the longer look but I don't think the shorter ones look bad at all so I just, kind of, you know, keep them however the tool came out, however long I cut it. That's how it ended up being. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Please don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to turn on your bell notification so that you're notified of when I post new videos. And I think that's going to be it. Also, I added in the backing um, to these uh, shakers. You guys could see here. This one just has a red one, but you could do whatever color you want. I just did white on all the other ones. I had some white scrap paper that I wanted to use, so why not? Um, and it just adds some sturdiness so it's not as bendy here. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll talk to you guys and see you guys in my next video. Bye!